I'm Cynthia Smith and I'm the Chair of McCann House Trust and we are the guardians of this site. So we are about the past, how McCann lived here with his family and we're also about the future because our artists take leaps here because they're surrounded by an amazing environment. So welcome to the McCann House. This is where he lived in the 1950s with uh, four kids and his wife. Through here we have the sitting room. He painted here. The kids slept here. And he also painted out here in the deck. There are 25 cowrie on our property. We have two sections here that run parallel with each other. Um, they all have cowrie dieback. In fact, Otateri Bay Road is really like a death road for Kauri. And you will see as you come down the road an enormous number of skeletons of Kauri. And unfortunately, the Makan site is on Otateri Bay Road. The Waitakere Ranges is full of Kauri. And this is a Kauri iconic site because Makan painted them here. He embraced the New Zealand environment and really did work that stood out as different and new. If you look out here, this environment is all very vertical and in your face, that's what cowries are. And so he was fascinated by this parallel trunk and the candelabra-like branches and the circular leaves. So there's over 300 works that he produced while he was here and a large percentage of them up till 1957 are kauri works. We have the very, very busy year this year. We are celebrating uh, 100 years since the birth of Makan. We're working in collaboration with the Kauri Project. It's taking uh, the children of these Kauri, check that they're disease free, take the seeds, and then make them each available to the public as a limited edition of these Kauri that Makan painted. I want people to understand that these are iconic trees. They don't grow anywhere else. They are standing here as stalwarts from, from our past and they will stand here as stalwarts for our future as well, if we take care of them. <laughs>